Hello everyone, I'm Sayyid Jabir, student of year 9 at Al Sadiq Islamic English School, Dubai. Today I will be guiding you through my version of an offshore oil rig. I decided to divide this project into four parts. First, living quarters. Second, upper level. Third, lower level. Fourth, underground level. So let's begin. We have just landed on the helipad. Next, we find the arrivals. And this is the place where workers arrive and remove the clothing they had. As we go down, we find the sleeping quarter. This is the place where workers rest. So you can see the room. It has beds, wardrobes and tables. We have seven similar rooms. And next we have the rest room. It has toilets and bathrooms. We have two more floors of sleeping quarters. Let me show you. And next we have the galley and the mess. Mess is the place where the workers eat and galley is the kitchen where the food is prepared. So you can see the kitchen, it has stove and fridge and it has a storeroom so the food can be stored and you have a place where the dishes can be washed. Next, we go to the laundry. Laundry is a place where the clothes are washed. So you have washing machines and a place where the clothes can be stored. And after it is uh, washed, they can be hanged. And the next floor is the recreation facilities. We have games like snooker and chess and we have TV to watch. And it has a gym so the workers stay healthy. It has a treadmill and sleeping mat and etc. Moving to the next floor, we find offices. It is where the paperwork gets done. You have printers right over here and laptops to work. And the last, we have reached the ground floor. In case of emergency, People or the workers will go through this way to the master station. It is a place where the lifeboats are there and you can see this pod. These pods are used to launch the lifeboats into the water. Usually oil rigs have their own firefighting team. For them, they have a fire room so they can go and wear the firefighting suit.
next we have the upper level the first thing we will find is the derrick and the racking board so the derrick is the scaffolding that you see above the ground and the racking board is a catwalk on which usually the workers stand then above the derrick you will see the block and the tackle block and tackle has two blocks one is the crown block and one is the traveling block crown block is the end of the block and tackle that does not move and the traveling block is the is the block that moves then you have the drill line and this drill line is a wire rope threaded through the block and tackle then you have the draw works this is the draw work a spool that helps raise and lower the traveling block then you have the top drive you see the top drive it is a device that hangs from the traveling block and allows the drill to rotate then you have the cranes you can see right over here so this so these cranes are used to lift heavy objects you can see right over here here we can control the crane then right over here you will find the kelly horse or you will find the the next you will find the goose neck which is a metal elbow that connects the stand pipe to the swivel and the kelly horse is a flexible horse that connects the stand pipe to the goose neck and this is the stand pipe it is a metal tubing through which the drilling fluid flows next if we go downwards we will find the lower level and you can see the setback that right over here it is a part of the drill floor that holds up long sections of the drill pipes and next you will find rotary table a device in the drill floor that rotates the drill string and you have the kelly drive which is a device in the center of the rotary table that applies downward force on the drill string then if you go further you will find the motor of the generator it is it is a generator that powers up the whole oil rig then you have the drill flow this is the flow where usually the most of the work happens then you have the mud tank which is a tank that stores drilling fluid and then you have the mud pump right over here and the suction plant it is a pump and pipe that draws drilling fuel from the mud tank into the oil rig then you have the shale shakers so the shale shakers is a device that separates drill cuttings solid from used drilling fluid before it returns from the mud tank to be reused. And by that, we have completed the lower level that was here. Next, we will be going from to the underground level. So first, what we see is the drill pipes. These are the drill pipes. Drill pipe is the steel or aluminium alloy tubes used to pump drilling fluid into the well. And you can see right over here, you find the flow lines. And there are the pipes that connect to the bell nipple and return drilling fluid to the shale shakers, as we just saw earlier. You will see the drill string, it is a group of pipes and tools that carry drilling fluid to the drill bit. And then you have the blowout preventer right over there it is a device that stops the gases and the fluids from escaping the well the next thing i'll show you is the 
drill bit which is where which is cylindrical hole that we take into the ground to see that over here the drill bit and by that we have completed the oil rig you can see that we have completed the oil rig 